Hello there, Pisces. So I'm going to go ahead and relay some messages that came out initially. And then uh, we're going to go into your reading, okay? So first of all, I feel like a lot of you are trying to um, convince somebody of a major endeavor, a major undertaking that you're, you're planning right now. And you need the other person's buy-in for whatever reason. So it could be financial support. It could be emotional support. It could be physically. You need the manpower. So you're trying to get somebody to, um, to, to get on board with you for something major. Okay? And I feel like for some of you, you're communicating with this person long distance. And then for others, I, can, I, I feel like it could be a financier or it could be somebody that you're trying to prove to them the value of your ideas. Okay? So I, I do sense you're planning to undertake some major endeavor. And um, here's the thing. I feel like you have talked to a few people, you know, not the person that you want on board, but you've talked to a few people, try to bounce some ideas off them. And some people have said, oh, you know, that's a great idea. And then others have said, it's not a great idea. Here's some things that you can do to, to fix it. Or here are some things that you should do to make it better. And I do feel that you might have hung on very protectively to your ideas and you might not have been very um, open and, 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 and um, receptive to constructive criticism. And honestly, the people that you chose to come forth with these ideas or to, to come to to bounce these ideas off of, they really care about you. And that's one of the reasons why, you know, you were compelled to come to them as a sounding board, okay? So whatever inputs, whatever insights they give you, trust it. And also take it with a grain of salt, but do, do not be so um, ready to, you know, uh, fight back if they're giving you constructive criticism. So that's just something I feel has been happening for you guys the past few months. Somebody that, you know, you want to be on board with your ideas, they're not really receptive. So I feel like that really hurts your feelings. And because of that, you're now questioning, oh, well, if this person, if I really trust them and they said no, they don't think it's a good idea, then maybe my idea is whack. Maybe I don't, I, I shouldn't continue with it. Well, the thing is, we can always tweak things to make things better, okay? But it's all contingent upon us being able to be open and receptive enough to get, you know, um, constructive criticism, to make the most of it, to really take it to heart and figure out, are, is there some validity? Is there some truth to, to that? Should I really, you know, take what they say and try to improve? Improvement is always a good thing, okay? And I feel like that's what's happening this month. This is a a uh, tweaking, redoing, restructuring type of month for you guys. And I feel that the whole process, you're going to start to see a lot of progress if you start to do some tweaking and some restructuring right now. Um, the other message that I feel coming through is that I feel like there's some distant communication, okay? And I feel like there's some constraints based on somebody's geo. Uh, geographical location so I feel like they're trying to come to you you're trying to come to them and there's some major major restrictions when it comes to travel when it comes to you know coordinating and figuring out logistically how is this gonna work okay so uh, let me just talk about the, the the spread first so here is you trying to implement, you know, a major, major idea into the world, trying to bring something forth, trying to foster something, and also feeling a little bit uninspired in your current geographical location, feeling like you want to get away, and feeling as if you just want to escape to a place that's not so uh, densely populated. I do feel a lot of you are overall um, dealing with this sense of like needing your own space, not having your own space, needing a, a place of safety and not being able to achieve that. So either because of financial issues, but I feel like financial issues are alleviating, but I feel like this is a past thing that's coming in in an emotional way to really unsettle you. Um, and I feel that in your current situation right now, a lot of you are not feeling as if you belong. A lot of you are not feeling as if 
um, you can continue to stay here. So a lot of you are thinking about, you know, moving somewhere where the cost of living, for example, might not be too expensive, where you can purchase a property, where you can start your life over. And uh, I do feel a lot of you might be retired as well, wanting to think about the next adventure in your life, having a lot of plans and a lot of just uh, creative, you know, endeavors, things that you want to do, but not really knowing, you know, where you want to go, and where you should settle down and where you can purchase that property. So I feel like some major, major planning for the next phase of your life is uh, you're seriously thinking about it. Um, where you are right now, financially, things are really good. So that means, you know, stable employment. That also means uh, doing some work that is, um, I, I feel like it's airing on the uh, practical front. So work that is practical comes up as, um, you know, uh, banking financing, um, even I feel like accounting. So work related to this, this sector. And a lot of you have experience, you know, you, you've done good, uh, you made good strides, made good progress in this endeavor itself. And a lot of you are in a position where you do have a lot of financial abundance. Your job that you're at right now, the environment that you're at, you're not really happy for whatever reason. And I feel a lot of it is you're staying mainly because of the financial stability, okay? And so you're kind of reaching out. You're, you're, you want something more in your life. And for many of you, I feel that you might be um, communicating with like a family member or a love interest from a distance. And I feel like while you are physically here, your head is missing the other person. Emotionally, you want to escape. You want to be where the other person is. So I do feel some type of a long distance love relationship coming through. And because of the constraints at work, for the both of you, you might not have the opportunity to travel to see each other on a regular basis, okay? And then others of you, you might be far away from your home. You might have to, you know, relocate, resettle in a different place because of the financial stability. And um, you might take the weekly trip to come back home to see family. And I feel like it's starting to wear on you. Like it's starting emotionally. It's no longer fulfilling. The work itself, it's uh, mundane and it's no longer fulfilling. The lifestyle itself is no longer fulfilling. And so I do feel reassessing your work environment and reassessing, you know, where your skills lie and figuring out if this is something worth doing anymore. Okay. So restructuring, I feel, is, is really in the works. Um, I'm sensing a lot of you are handling a major, 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 massive project. And it comes up here with the Three of Wands. This is a card about, you know, waiting for your ship to come in. But I feel coupled with this Three of Pentacles here. This is a major endeavor that you are undertaking. And it requires cooperation, signatures. You know, it, it's like a very hierarchical type of a, a structure where you need, you know, the, the okay from the top person and you need it to, to trickle down. You need it to, uh, to filter into the upper, from the upper echelon into the bottom in order for things to move along. So it's really frustrating having to wait. It's really frustrating because people are debating. There's some type of a miscommunication, misunderstanding. People are not on board with the same ideas. People have differing objectives overall. So um, the environment itself, it seems like there isn't a lot of collaboration. And because there's a lot of, you know, um, dissident and infighting, the projects might be stalled altogether or the project my value is and so they're giving you advice and they're giving you you know uh, some type of feedback and it might not be something that you want to hear mainly because you are fixated on having this very specific outcome so be very very open and receptive to um, feedback especially from experts especially from specialists and feedback from the people that are dear to you because I feel like you're reaching out um, you're reaching out wanting to you know run ideas by other people and they're telling you like no it's not feasible it's not really realistic and you're just like but this person is on board you know and and so I feel like Many of you have to propose an idea to somebody who is quite critical, 
who has done this before and I feel that they're telling you things that you might not want to hear so that you can uh, re redo the proposal okay and you might not be open and ready to hear the message that they have to say it doesn't mean a no it doesn't mean no that's that's whack that's not gonna work it's basically telling you to you know really think about um, filtering this through more of a business mindset okay think about what people are hoping to achieve think about objectives think about motives think about you know possible outcomes as well as coming up with a contingency plan in case this doesn't come out the way that we want so the whole process I feel can be a little bit fr frustrating because I feel like there's a lot of delays there's a lot of redoing and while you just want to get out of there it seems like things are at a standstill okay this situation is going to lift your financial situation. I'm really glad to see, um, Pisces, that it's getting a lot better. And I also feel as well, the love situation, uh, relationships, family, support from, you know, the people around you. I feel that you're no longer in a space of financial um, discomfort. You're no longer in a space of feeling emotional lack. I do sense some of you are... Um, I feel like some of you have, I feel like some of you have left bad relationships behind. And so this is a month greatly about new love, new potential, okay, new potential in love, in new projects, but it's a, it's a very delicate balance being uh, between adamantly pursuing what we want and, and being a little bit more sing, being a little bit too single, single minded and too narrow minded about what we want, what we think we want. When in fact, the things that we can work at, the things that we should revise, the thing that we should redo might give us a better outcome. Okay, I hope that makes sense for you guys. Um, it's a little bit of a mixed message, I feel, mainly because um, I feel like some of you are just waiting to, to get together a plan. And then I feel others of you are facing like, you know, restructuring or redoing, redrawing that plan. So it's a... Um, two groups I feel two separate groups that I'm dealing with here okay so I'm gonna go into your love reading and see what's in store for you guys let me talk about the present situation if the present situation seems uh, accurate to you then continue watching the rest but um, I feel like this is this message is very specific here so we have here the Six of Swords, and the Six of Swords basically means, you know, sailing from a troublesome situation and moving forward. And we also have here the Page of Wands, and the Page of Wands basically means uh, news communication, and this is something that happens quite fast. It is something that gets you very motivated and very excited, okay? So I'm feeling that some of you are getting news and communication, and I, I do sense as well this can be somebody coming to see you and or you making a trip traveling to see another person and because this is a love reading I have here an element of something that is quite exciting or dealing with somebody who's very very exciting enthusiastic truthful and honest as well some of you could be involved here with a fire sign so a Sagittarius an Aries or a Leo somebody that is sending you you know messages of love and messages like just solid honest stable and you know very straightforward communication they might behave in a way where they're kind of blunt so they don't really sugarcoat things and they're very fast so um, I feel like if you're involved with this person the relationship has been um, it's like accelerated it feels to me it's hap everything is happening really fast and it feels to me as if you know it's um they have a lot of plans, a lot of ideas, and things might be shuffled or, you know, bunched up together at the very last minute. So it's like on a um, moment's notice, you might be traveling here and there with them. So I feel like they're generally very exciting, um, good person, honest, but I feel like the relationship seems very rushed and very just fast. And so because you are a water sign, I feel that you are excited about this relationship, but I feel like it might be in your best interest just for your emotional well-being to slow things down. And especially, you know, if they are 
planning things at the very last minute, you might want to let them know that, you know, give me five days of a heads up. Give me a week. Give me two weeks to plan. Don't spring things up on me at the last minute, okay? I feel like some of you, while it is exciting, I feel like some of you are a little bit frazzled or a little bit burnt out, okay? Um, in the past, what we have here is the hangman. And the hangman basically indicates a period uh, where we're not really dating, where we're not really out connecting with other people, where we're not like really meeting people that uh, we like. So this is kind of like, you know, waiting in suspension for things to happen, waiting for people to come in rather than you reaching out to other people. So I feel like a lot of you are very um, shy about, you know, putting yourself out there, um, letting people know that you're looking for a date, letting people know that you're interested in them, as well as, um, you know, putting yourself out on, on even like online, like on online website, dating websites, for example. So I feel like there's a, a lot here about, you know, cutting yourself loose and getting out there to date. And this card, coupled with the Seven of Cups, this is my traditional, you know, internet dating type of card. This is looking at the other options that's available for us. Person. We have as well the Two of Swords. And this Two of Swords is a card about a stalemate. This is a card about indecisiveness and really not really not making a move. So on the one hand, you want to move ahead, but on the other hand, you're not really sure if you have a clear strategy. Because of course, you know, you don't want to get hurt. You don't want to fall off a ravine and or fall in love and you know get hurt again. So I feel like you're coming to it with a, a little bit more of a strategy. And so a lot of you, which this is really good and I'd love to see this for Pisces. You're coming into this month by um, being very, I want to say like very um, realize that that wasn't going to work out. Now money, you know, it, it's, a, it's a very small part of the equation. But financial stability is something that basically indicates whether or not somebody is at a point in their lives that they're ready to build a future with you. So I feel like you, you, you might have had somebody in the past that... Um, that gave you a pipe dream, you know, they might have, um, you might have loved them, and they, they, they wove like a, a web, you know, and it's like, it's like making promises that they couldn't keep, because financially, they're not where they need it to be, and so I feel like you're being smarter about this, and making decisions based on practicalities, you know, where are we three years from now, are we going to be able to purchase a house, are we going to be together, are we going to be in the same state, in the same city, so, I feel a lot of you want the, the whole nine yards. You want that stability in a relationship. And I also feel that for those who are in a relationship uh, right now, um, in a relationship right now, there's a lot of stability that I'm sensing. And I feel that you and your partner might be making some type of um, a legal contract, like buying a property, um, taking the relationship to the next level, you know, getting married, getting engaged, meeting each other. So I'm going to find out what my schedule is going to look like, and then that's when I'll open things up for appointments, okay? But if you'd like to book an appointment, the information is below, and um, the times and the availability should be listed by next Friday, okay? I wish you all the best. Take care, Pisces. Bye-bye.